Hi guys, are you wanting to add some more perennials and shrubs and beautiful things to your garden this year? Now is the time to do so. I stopped at Lowe's just by accident today and ran across a super good deal. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard, Kentucky homestead. My name is Kim and let me tell you and show you what I'm doing. So I stopped at Lowe's just to pick up a couple of things and I always stop by the clearing truck found a couple of really nice things, but when I was walking through the rest of the store, uh, rest of the garden center, uh, the staff said, hey, we're clearancing everything. If you see anything that you want, well, they're almost everything. If you see anything you want, let us know, we'll mark it for you. Everything but evergreens and the mums are like, they're, they're clearance prices. So everything I got, which I'll show you here in a second, 50% off. So really, really, really great deal. Didn't need most of it, but hey, I'll find space. Well, let me show you what I got. And I like I said, you want to run, don't walk to Lowe's right now because they just got, if you're in zone five, six or seven, maybe eight, they literally just got a new shipment of plants two weeks ago, I think. And they're loaded and they're marking everything down because it's very late October. So well, let me show you what I got. And also, sorry about the sound. I have a problem with my microphone, which I haven't figured out yet, but we're working on that. So going with the camera uh, microphone today, so just bear with me. Here is an overview of what we have. And I've got some shade items to go back in my new shade garden, some larger items, and one of which I have been wanting for two years. So I'm excited. So let's just start going through this. So we have Dale's Strain Coral Bells Hookra, $4. Cold Hardy down to zone four, beautiful green and purple accent. It's to be about 18 inches high, 18 inches high and 12 inches wide. So gorgeous. Got four of those. Also, a hookra is this purple palace coral bells. It's purple, beautiful, beautiful red flower, or beautiful red foliage. Also, hardy down to zone four, uh, 18 to 24 inches high, 18 to 24 inches wide. So, this will be a beautiful red accent. I think I got three of those. We got two of these Halcyon Hostas. It's a blue Hosta. Also gonna go back there and it's a complete shade. So, so these are hardy down to zone three. So crazy cold hardy. And they are 18 to 24 inches high, 24 to 36 wide. Beautiful blue, dark color. We only had one of these. I do have a number of these out in the various areas of the garden already. Uh, and they do multiply. So I probably will be splitting some of these up later, but again, $4, uh, it's hardy down to zone five, but it gives you a really nice accent grass type texture for part sun shady areas. If you like Veronica, or this is uh, Speedwell Sunny Border Blue Speedwell, hardy to zone three, super cold hardy, beautiful blue calyx blooms on that, just gorgeous. Super healthy plants. I mean, you cannot beat that. $4, uh, 18 to 24 inches high, 12 to 18 inches wide. I got four of these. So I have, I love the Gallardia, which is Arizona blanket flower. This particular one is just a red solid color. The one I've got is red and gold. So I was really happy to find this one. Again, $4, hardy to zone three, super cold hardy. 10 to 12 inches high, 10 to 12 inches wide. So this will be a beautiful addition to the flower beds. I got four of those. I love Echinacea. My thing last year was the Cheyenne Sky or Cheyenne Spirit, the different colors this year. I'm really drawn to the white ones. So these blooms are a little past their prime, but the plants themselves are extremely healthy looking. Uh, they are the Pow Wow White Cone Flower. Hardy down to a zone three, so super cold hardy and 16 to 20 inches high, 12 to 16 inches wide. So it's a little smaller one. Some of the coneflower that I started from seed this past year, are like three feet, four feet tall. So this would be a little shorter, but $4. So this is a macrophile hydrangea. It is pop star reblooming hydrangea. Uh, regular $29.98, so it was $15, half price. Hardy zone to four, uh, hardy zone four to nine, 18 to 36 inches tall by 18 to 36 inches wide. 
And when I plant this, I will be adding a soil acidifier to help maybe get more blue leaves. Our soil here is usually pretty neutral, uh, but we'll just go ahead and add some soil uh, acidifier to it when I plant it. And then again, next spring, when I do the same with the blueberries, I always add the, that soil acidifier about once a month. Mm -hmm. So we've got a beautiful hydrangea, possibly from back there in the back shade corner. This is one I've been looking at for most of this season. It's a little Henry Sweet Spire, regular $29.98, so it was $15. Two to three feet tall, which is at least that now, so it's either full, tall, full size or else it's gonna get bigger. Uh, this one actually says it's good sun, part shade, and shade. So I will have a lot of options of where to put this. It blooms these white flowers in the summertime and then it gets this beautiful red foliage in the fall. Uh, this one gets two to three feet tall and wide. So really excited about that one. The next one is also one that I've been looking at this year. Camera up just a hair since we're dealing with taller stuff. Okay. So this next one is also one that I've been looking at this year. It is a summer wine nine bark. Again, $30 regular price, $15. Well, it's good for the sun, hardy to zone three to seven, five to eight feet tall. So this will need a lot of space. You need to find a good space in the sun. Uh, it has spring flowers and really beautiful foliage throughout the rest of the season, uh, through the summer and the fall. So beautiful, beautiful shape, beautiful red accent. So this is an accident I didn't know I got. It's a daisy. Montauk Daisy, uh, Hardy does own 5, 24 to 36 inches high, 18 to 24 inches wide, also $4. I grabbed it thinking it was a cone fly, but we'll plant it. It didn't work. So I got five cone flowers and one daisy. The one that I am probably the most excited about is this Valley Rose Pieris, P-I-E-R-I-S. It is a beautiful, beautiful flower. Spring uh, bloomer, five to feet wide by five feet high. Uh, hardy to zone four. Beautiful pink flowers. Not sure, I'm bring this in here. Hopefully it'll focus on that. So beautiful pink flowers in the springtime. And it is also for the part sun to shade. I've wanted one of these for a very long time, so very excited to finally have this. I'm going to put that in the back sh the shade area that I just built. So this is my haul. This is my favorite. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you want to know more about how to save money at Lowe's, check out this video. And if you are interested in some clearance plants, go now. Seriously, go, 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 go. Until the next time, have a wonderful day.